So I'm Christina Luminia. I am uh, the co-founder and uh, managing director of Thoughtbox. And I'd like to talk to you about games. We are in a gaming um, panel. So uh, I'd just like to ask you, what do you think, ga what do you think games are? And what, um, what do you think uh, the main traits of a, ca of a game are? What defines a game? Challenge. Yes. At Thoughtbox, we believe games are challenging. Um, imagine this. Somebody comes over to you and tells you about this great new game that they found, and um, they finally, you finally decide to try it out. What are the chances of you winning that game the very first time you try it? I'd say very slim to none. Games are challenging us to achieve our potential. Um, they are telling us right from the start, this is going to be tough. This is going to be hard work. Um, Games uh, put obstacles in our ways. And these obstacles usually um, get us to work to, uh, and achieve the, um, the things that we um, are aiming at uh, and work at the very limits of our abilities. Games also have rules. Um, and the rules usually direct us through the game and also dictate the way we interact with the games. And a lot of the time, from the real uh, world point of view, these rules don't even make any sense uh, and delay us through our quest. Uh, games have levels. Um, level, uh, from the very first point of the game where uh, everything is really easy and all the way up to the most uh, challenging uh, point of the game, uh, players have to go through levels. And in order to um, move on from one le level to the other, they need to win the, the current one. And also games have uh, a goal, a goal that focuses our attention and that um, tells us what we are working for and what we are planning to achieve. Um, games are also very good at feedback. They provide feedback that tell us how close we are to that goal. So basically, if you are, um, this feedback is a lot of the times um, in form of um, points or time or even uh, progress bars. But at the same time, there is real world feedback, which uh, guides us through the game and allows us to discover the rules. And this brings us to discovery, as Richard uh, mentioned. Uh, Games allow us to make mistakes, and they allow us to discover the environment around us in order to, um, to advance and to, to um, discover the rules. So if we leave games aside for a moment, I know we're here to talk about maths. <laughs> maths is challenging. Um, ask any kid out there what is the toughest subject that they have to deal with in, in their everyday life. And most of them, without even thinking about it, they'd say maths. Maths puts all these obstacles in their ways. Um, once they uh, finish um, a problem, another one is thrown at them. Uh, once they, have, um, once they um, understand a, a concept, they have to move on to something more difficult. Maths has rules. <laughs> Um, you need to remember that you, you have to multiply, multiply before you add, um, or you have to, uh, you're not allowed to divide by zero. And also, it has levels um, from uh, addition and subtraction, things that anybody could do. Kids are thrown into um, equations and functions and polynomials. And all of this with one goal in mind, to pass the SAT or the GCSE and uh, go to college. We think it's sad that, um, that kids think this way. We think it's sad that kids are uh, there just to pass maths, and they, they look at maths just in, order, uh, in, in terms of passing. And we believe that as it is now, um, maths is disconnected from feedback and discovery. But with the help of technology, we can incorporate this. We can give um, kids feedback, and, they, and also we, al we can allow them to discover the rules by themselves. At Thoughtbox, we believe math is not equal to calculating. It's equal to gaming. And math is structured as a game. Thank you. Thank you.